Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's essential for any Windows user, the mysterious App Data Folder. If you've ever wondered what it is, when you should use it or how to find it, this video is for you. Let's get started. So, what exactly is the App Data Folder? In simple terms, it's a hidden folder on your Windows 11 system where applications store their data and settings. It's divided into three subfolders, local, roaming, and local, low. Let me explain these briefly. The local folder, it stores application-specific data for each user account. Here's what the local folder is primarily used for. Storage of application data. It contains files and settings specific to applications installed on your system. Unlike the roaming folder, the data in the local folder is tied to the specific device and does not sync with other devices when using a roaming profile. Temporary or cache files. Many applications use the local folder to store cache files, logs, or other temporary data that can be recreated if deleted. Non-portable configuration data. Applications may store configuration data here that is only relevant to the current machine, such as hardware-specific settings. Many files, such as cache or logs, can be deleted to free up space, but be cautious not to delete folders unless you know their purpose. And if you need to clean or manage this folder, be sure to back up important files and understand the implications of removing certain data. The local low folder is specifically designed to store data for applications that run in a more restricted or lower security context. This is often used for applications that operate with limited permissions, such as web browsers running in protected mode or older programs that require stricter security settings. Many games save data such as game settings, user profiles, or logs in this folder. You can delete files in the local low folder, but you should do so with caution. When is it safe to delete files? Well, you can delete temporary files or cache. Many applications store temporary data or cache in the local low folder. If you're running out of disk space or troubleshooting an app, deleting such files can be safe. The app will typically regenerate them as needed. Unused or old applications, if the folder belongs to an application you've uninstalled or no longer use, you can safely delete it. Large, unnecessary files. If certain files or logs have grown unusually large and you know they aren't critical, they can be deleted. Use disk cleanup tools. Windows disk cleanup or third-party tools like CCleaner can safely delete unnecessary files without risking critical data. The roaming folder in the app data directory is a subfolder designed to store user-specific data for applications. Unlike the local or local low folders, data in the roaming folder is intended to travel with your user profile when you log in to a different computer on the same network domain, e.g. in corporate or enterprise environments. The roaming folder stores application data and settings that are user-specific but not tied to the specific machine. This is particularly useful for syncing settings, preferences, or files across multiple devices when using a network or domain account. Many apps save configuration files, templates, and user preferences here to maintain consistency across devices. Examples, Adobe, Microsoft Office, or web browsers. Can you delete files in the roaming folder? Yes, but with caution. Safe to delete files for apps you've uninstalled or cache temp files if you're troubleshooting or clearing space. Avoid deleting important configuration files, game saves, or application settings, as this may cause apps to lose settings or stop working properly. Always back up any data before making significant changes 
to the roaming folder. Okay, now let's get hands on. Here's how you can find the app data folder on your Windows 11 computer. Open File Explorer and go to C Users, Username, and then App Data here. The username is your profile folder. For instance, on my computer, the App Data folder is located in C Users, Zach, and then App Data. If you don't see it, don't worry, it's hidden by default. You can also open it by pressing the Windows key plus the R key to open the run box. Type this and press enter. This will take you directly to the roaming folder in App Data. From here, you can navigate to the locale or local low folders by going up one level. To wrap up, the App Data folder is like the brain of your applications. It stores critical data and settings. While you may not need to use it daily, Knowing where it is and how to access it can be a lifesaver for troubleshooting and backups. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips. Have questions about the app data folder of or any other Windows topic, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.